I'm Larsa Pippen. I'm married to Scotty Pippen, who played in the NBA for 18 years. Before Larsa Pippen, otherwise known as Miss Scotty Pippen, would star in the first season of Real Housewives of Miami. <laughs> Before Larsa Pippen would get spotted out with the Minnesota Timberwolves shooting guard Malik Beasley, setting off a firestorm of controversy all over social media. Before Larsa Pippen would have over 165,000 followers on Twitter and over 2 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Now if you're somebody who well keeps up with the Kardashians, then you probably don't need me telling you who Larsa Pippen is after her multiple appearances on that series as one of the family's very best friends. Oh, you're acting like a lunatic coming in here like a psycho. What happened? Nothing, Larsa was being rude to Why'd Sarah. you fight without me? Sarah came over, she goes, I feel so bad that they go in the bathroom. I go, hop. The social media influencer and entrepreneurial woman first came into the public eye after marrying all-star basketball player Scottie Pippen back in 1997. Now, ever since then, whether it was Real Housewives of Miami, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, or social media accounts, well, Larsa's always managed to find a way to keep herself in the public eye. More recently, she was spotted shopping with Malik Beasley, a married NBA player who's in the middle of his own drama after being charged with felonies for threats of violence and fifth degree drug possession. Now it's unclear when these two originally started seeing one another and I found this comment that Malik slid into Larissa's comments only a couple weeks back. Now it's pretty safe to say that this is a pretty recent development in her life, but today we're more concerned about Larissa's past than we are her present. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden back at it again with another Before They Were Famous video, this time taking a look at Miss Scottie Pippen or Larsa Pippen, prior to fame, here for you before they are famous. And we drop a new video each and every day, so if you're new to the fame gang, be sure to subscribe. Some other recent drops on this channel include Chromaz. Anyway, uh, let's just roll that intro, that was awkward, okay. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom. Larsa Pippen was born Larsa Yunuin on July 6, 1974 in Chicago, Illinois. Now she has described herself in the past as being a Syrian in her heritage. Her mother is from Lebanon and her father, he is from Syria. Now Larsa has managed to keep a lot of the details about her childhood to herself, but I discovered that she did attend the University of Illinois and she graduated with a bachelor's degree in political science. Now while enrolled in college, she also took part in the prestigious Pivot Theater Workshop and she studied under the late great Bernard Pivot. That is the father of Jeremy Pivot. Now there's no doubt that this training in the theatrical arts, drama more specifically, well it would go on to heavily influence the later stages in her life, much of which would play out in the public eye. Now for instances, around 1995, Olarsa, she met Scottie Pippen, the man who was already a three-time NBA champion, thanks in large part to his amazing talent. Oh yeah, and this guy as well. Scotty and Larsa got married two years later in 1997, and we'll circle back to this relationship in a little bit. But right now, I want to focus on the career that Larsa built for herself. Now, her first big exposure came in the early stages of 2011 when she signed on to star in the first season of Bravo's The Real Housewives of Miami. You know, it was a good experience. It was fun. You know, a lot of different aspects to all of us. We're all very different in a lot of ways. It was fun. I mean, I did it when we were in Miami. And she spent a lot of that first season showcasing her naturally snarkiness and firing a whole bunch of nannies. Hey, it's dirty work, but I guess someone's got to do it. Somewhat surprisingly, well, Larsa, she only lasted the one season on the show before bouncing altogether. Now, maybe that's because she had discovered greener pastures elsewhere. What do I mean? Well, around 2012, it was when Larsa met Kim Kardashian for the very first time. From that point on, well, Larsa would become one of Kim's absolute besties. Now, they started hanging out officially when Larsa joined Kim and Courtney on Courtney and Kim Take Miami. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> By 2014, well, Kim was blogging about how much her friendship with Larsa it meant to her. In fact, she wrote, I always call my friend Larsa Pippen for parenting advice. Kim would even go as far as to refer to Larsa as her best friend and the most positive person she knows. But flash forward about six years and these days, well, things are very different. In fact, not only does Kim, but her entire family, they've unfollowed Larsa on social media. No pun waking up to realize what had happened with Larsa, she shared her thoughts on her social media feed. But that would be far from the end of the matter. Now a source close to the Kardashians told Entertainment Tonight, Larsa and the Kardashian sisters aren't friends anymore and have grown apart. The Kardashians felt Larsa wasn't bringing the best energy to to their friendship and slowly drifted. No one has negative feelings toward one another, but they didn't see a reason to continue to stay close. No matter what way you cut it, well, that's a far cry away from Kim publicly calling Larsa her bestie and a person full of positive energy. Now, in response to this statement, well, Larsa, she jumped onto a podcast, Hollywood Raw, and she gave her side of the story. Kanye um, 
was in a place where he, you know, he really didn't trust anyone um, with Kim. So I feel like I was the person that was like, oh, don't like, don't be so close to her because you're so close to her that, you know, that kind of had something to do with it. And Larissa didn't just stop with her feelings about Kanye. In fact, she really must have been Kim's best friend because she knew exactly the weak spot to go for, Tristan Thompson. Now Larissa, she suggested that she was the first woman of their collective to date the soon to be Boston Celtic forward. And that 10 days after introducing Tristan to Chloe, well he moved on from Larissa to latch on with a Kardashian. She told Hollywood Raw. Which is fine, I don't even care. I will never chase a man. I will never put a leash on a man. I don't do that. I feel like, let you be great. If you want to be with other people, go ahead. I'm great by myself. Speaking of seeing other people, well, let's finally circle back to her relationship with Scottie Pippen. Now, the couple they met in Chicago in 1995 and then tied the knot in July of 1997 at the first United Methodist Temple in Chicago. Now, the couple, they would go on to have four children together. Scottie Jr., born in 2000, Preston in 2002, Justin in 2005, and their only daughter, Sophia, in 2008. Now, Larissa's undeniably been a great mom to her kids. She helped her three sons become premier athletes and Scottie Jr., well, he's even a point guard for the Vanderbilt University. In 2012, a reality TV show titled Big Pimpin'. It was announced for the Wii Network, but unfortunately, well, it never made it to air. By the mid 2010s, though, Larson and Scotty's marriage it was effectively over. Now, Scotty he first filed for divorce from Larson in 2016 after accusing her of cheating on him with the rapper Future. Now, this filing also came only days after Larson she had contacted the police, alleging that Scotty had been verbally aggressive towards her. Okay, and what do you mean your husband's gotten crazy with you again? He's breaking things. He's just staring me. Both Larsa and Future, they denied the accusations of an affair and initial filing was dismissed as Larsa and Scotty, well, they attempted to work on their marriage. But two years later, well, Larsa, she filed for divorce, citing her loneliness because Scotty, he was never around to spend time with the family. Now, if that's how Larsa is feeling about her relationship, it's hard to fault her for looking for a connection with another person, whether it be Tristan, Ben Simmons, or even Malik. But it's gotta be said, much like with her former Kardashian friends, well, Larsa, she definitely has a thing for basketball players. Well, I guess when it comes to the ladies, who doesn't? And even though her relationship with Scotty may be over, well, that doesn't mean she has any hard feelings towards him. Now, in fact, during the airing of The Last Dance this past summer, well, she took to social media to defend Scotty when others were making fun of him and his NBA contract. Not only did Scotty secure all that bank, but after being married to a total knockout like Larsa for over 20 years, well, I think he did okay as well. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because this is before they're famous. Goddamn future. Did he say that she belongs to the streets or the streets could have her? Because if he did, those are, uh, that makes this video a whole lot funnier. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap up this one here. Let us know who's next in the comments down below. Anyway, I'm gone. See ya, bye. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here. So click on that if you wanna see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!